Hey Jim Army, I'm back with another quick tip on intermittent fasting. Now the question that I've gotten this time is whether or not it's okay to have your non-proteinogenic amino acids during your fasting window. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about when I refer to non-proteinogenic amino acids, I'm referring to the amino acids that are used in the body to build protein like arginine, the branch chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. I'm talking about functional amino acids that perform functions in the body. Now, a few examples of non-proteinogenic amino acids that you're probably familiar with are beta-alanine, taurine, and even carnitine. Now, generally speaking, I typically recommend not taking any amino acids during your fasting window. Now, some of these amino acids, like beta-alanine, can actually get converted in the body to proteinogenic amino acids, meaning they're going to be used for the building blocks of protein, meaning you're no longer in a fasted state. So the easiest way to prevent that conversion is to not use any amino acids at all during your fasting window. Now, carnitine isn't truly an amino acid. It's actually a vitamin-like and amino acid like compound, very similar to actually B vitamin. However, there's a couple problems with taking carnitine on an empty stomach, and it has to do with the fact that carnitine needs insulin to get into muscle fibers. And if you're fasted, you're not having an insulin spike. So it's probably pretty useless to be taking L-carnitine. But notice I said L. Carnitine. Now there's another form of carnitine called acetyl L-carnitine, and you'll notice 1,500 milligrams of it in my shred gym. Now acetyl L-carnitine is different from carnitine in the fact that the acetyl group enhances its uptake and it allows it to bypass the blood-brain barrier, getting entrance into the brain. So if your main goal is fat loss, then taking the acetyl L-carnitine form of carnitine is okay to take to help encourage more fat loss during your fasting window. Now, in fact, while L-carnitine, like I have two grams in my post gym, is used to go into the muscles, acetyl L-carnitine is used mainly for entrance into the brain where it provides different benefits. So not to make matters any more confusing than they already are, generally speaking, I'd probably avoid even non-proteinogenic amino acids. However, if you're using one, like acetyl L-carnitine, to encourage greater fat loss during your fasting window, then that's perfectly fine. If you have any more questions on what you can and cannot have during your fasting window, you guys know where to get me. Social media, also check the Gym Army Facebook group page. And as always, guys, stay Gym Army strong.